Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this basic After Effects tutorial, I will show you how we can track our footage and place 3D objects into our scene using Element 3D plugin. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado, let's begin today's video. So here we are in After Effects, now let's start this by importing our footage onto this project panel. So for that right click on this project panel import solidity of footage or else you can directly drag and drop your footage onto this project panel. So now solidity of footage once again from here and drop it onto this composition icon so that we will get a new composition created with the properties of our footage. Okay. So in order to check the preview here you can press 0 for RAM preview. So here you can see we got this footage from pexels.com download link in the description if you want to download and use the same. So in this kind of footage where the rotation position of the camera is not static. So in this kind of footage if you want to place 3D objects first we need to track that footage. So first do the tracking process. So first let me trim out this video to 10 seconds. Okay so be on that frame press N on the keyboard for end frame. Right click trim come to work area. So now the video length is of 10 seconds nice. So now let's track our footage first. So Come to this tracker options so if you are not finding this tracker options here so come to this window and enable tracker from here so being selected your footage click on this track camera make sure you are on the first frame and click on track camera so it starts analyzing our footage and gives us some tracking points when it is done so here you can see our tracking is done and we got some tracking points here so here i want to place a 3d object at this place so select the track points which are on the floor like so these are on the floor so select these track points and right click create solid and camera so you'll get a track solid layer created so let me increase the scaling press s and let me increase the scaling so here you can see the rotation or the alignment of our track solid is a bit off when compared to the perspective of our footage so now let's fix that so select this track solid press r on the keyboard for rotation options and now let me adjust the rotation here like this and z rotation x rotation here okay so let me change this to zero okay so if i press zero on the keyboard once again to check the preview you can see the track solid is staying in its position firmly. So now let's create a new solid layer for element 3D. So go to this layer option once again, new create a solid. Let me rename this to element and hit OK. So now come to this window and enable effects and presets. So here it is my panel. So in this panel search for element. So this is a third party plugin. We need to download and install it separately. So select this element and drop it onto this element layer. So here we got a scene setup button, click on the scene setup button. So here you can see we got a new window open to work in element 3D. So now let's import our 3D object. So in order to import 3D object, we need to click on this import button. So make sure the 3D object which you are using is in OBJ format. So other than OBJ, currently the element will not support any other formats. So whichever model you are using, make sure it is in OBJ. So let me import one. So click on this import and let me select this skull model. So this is also free model which I have downloaded from free3d. Download link in the description. So hit okay. Nice. So let me click on this normalize size here. Okay. So let me change the material of this skull. So select the skull presets come to this physical and let me apply this metal. Okay. So now let me rotate this. So select this skull or else you can press E on the keyboard and we can rotate this here like this or else we can adjust the orientation from here. So let me change the value to 270. Press W to get move tool and let me place it just above to the grid here. And the pivot point let me bring it to center. Yeah, okay. so here you can see our model is in group one okay now click on this okay button so you can see we got our model here so now let's make this model to sit on this track solid position so in order to do that go to this group one because our model is in group one so come to this group one and in group utilities we'll find this create group null option expand it and create 
click on this create button so a group one layer will be created here you can see here so now come to this track solid layer press p on the keyboard for position values select those position values go to this edit copy them now select this group one null press p once again select those position values and paste so now you can say our model is move to that track solid position but the scaling is small so now let's increase the scaling of our model so come to this element layer once again so it is in group one so group one expand this particle look so now here you can see we got this particle size so let me increase this particle size here so i will increase this to 50 is fine so let me adjust the rotation a bit so come to this particle rotation and z rotation i think 1.5 okay i think this is fine now so now let me check the preview once so press zero for ram preview so here you can see our object is staying in its position which is looking cool nice so once the alignment or position is set so we can hide out this track solid no need so now let's work on reflections of the object which has to be on this water so again go to this element scene setup now click on this create button and select this plane so we got a plane here now let me increase the scaling of this so size x 25 and size y 25 nice so let me give it a metallic diffused one or else let me give this chrome material only and come to this reflection mode option just click on this plane model and come to this reflect mode and mode change it to mirror surface so here you can see we got the reflections here so let me bring it above like this nice okay so let me reduce the glossiness so select this material scroll down to this glossiness and let me make it 35 sorry it's not visible completely 75 i think okay 75 is fine or else we can make it 80 okay so now select your chrome material click on this advanced settings so we want only reflections in the scene so enable this matte reflections so you can say we got reflections here so now hit ok so now we got reflections on the water also so in order to make this 3d objects blend into our scene we need to use environment map or hdra maps which includes an image taken by 360 camera so since I don't have that image, I will be using a screenshot of this video only. So let me apply that one. So come to the screen setup once again. Now click on this environment button. So here you can see I have loaded the screenshot of the video. So load that one and hit OK. If you are having HDR image or environment map taken by 360 camera, you can use that one. It will be well and good. So since I don't have that, I will be using this one. So hit OK. So now you can see we got our environment reflecting on the sky so now hit ok once again let's see the difference now you can see that difference now it is looking much better okay so now scroll down to this render settings come to this ambient occlusion enable ambient occlusion and intensity i will increase this to 10 or else let me increase this to 25 also so check the intensity which looks better for you so samples i will increase this to 64 so in this way we can import 3d objects by tracking our footage using element 3d plugin so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye